Hey everyone, welcome to Jason Explains Things. Chris, I have a question for you. Sure. Do you like videos about trucks with uh, with cool off-road lights? I do. Do you like videos about trucks with cool relays and, and switches and such? I'm listening. How about videos about trucks, lights, relays, switches, and wires? You got me, I'm all in. Oh my gosh, what about a video with all those things and rear uh, LED chase lights? I like it, I like it. It sounds familiar. <laughs> well, you're in that video right now. Yes. <laughs> you did it. All right, we are back We're doing another project on Chris's 2021 Chevy Colorado ZR2. Yes, first of all, we have fog light replacements for the Bison. These are Baja Designs XLR Sports, um, kind of the big guys, and these are purely off-road. Uh, these are not street legal. No. I will only be using them off-road. Yes. They're incredibly bright, but they're awesome. Disclaimers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, as well as some AEV specific brackets for the front and all that good stuff. For the stuff. bison. Yep. Yeah. We have this all managed by some really cool custom switches that I got from S-Tech, as well as relay housing, low voltage disconnects, 60 amp breakers, kind of the works. I, I kind of had the feeling on this, like if I'm gonna do it, do it right, Definitely. be done with it. For lights, but also for tons of other other uh, accessories. accessories. Yes, so yes. we did the GMRS install video. Yep. That's also wired into the custom switches. And then around back, we also have uh, Baja Design Squadron Sports as chase lights in the rear bumper. They have some cutouts on the Bison as well. So we have all the lights in, we have the radio in, and we're gonna show you how we did it. Yes, so let's uh, jump back a couple weeks back in time uh, and uh, show how you're gonna do all this stuff. All right, let's get this installation underway. What are we gonna start with? So we are starting with the switches. Also, a lot of the stuff that we're gonna be covering in this is gonna be kind of specific to the Colorado as far as like the individual exact parts or kits or, or what have you. But all of this can be applied to any vehicle, any Colorado, a Jeep, a Forerunner. One thing that's kind of funny, like that, that GMRS radios that both of us installed, I mean, they work great. Um, but one of the thing that's annoying is every time we switch the truck off, that turns the radio off and you have to turn the radio back on. And when you're when you're off-roading together, you know, like, oh crap, my radio's not on. That that happened to us just last weekend over and over again. Doing every, like, Chris is gonna do everything kind of to the nines here so that those kind of things won't happen. So it's gonna be good stuff. Okay, so in the first boxes, we have our fuse box, which is really cool. It's nice and waterproof, got a good gasket in there. These are the switches that I customize on the website. You can have them say literally almost anything, but obviously the front and the rear lights there, these two, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to hammer down and use uh, yet, so I just did aux one and two, but you can do them anyway. So the first thing we have here is a waterproof 60 amp, I believe, breaker, which should be nice. Wow. This is all going in the engine bay, so this is all really important. We have some specific Colorado mounting points. These will mount right in the engine bay. Again, made specifically for the Colorado, but they make specific brackets for all types of vehicles. And then we also have a low voltage disconnect, which will be nice to have as well. Oh yeah. Why is it so filthy? She's dirty. She's dirty. We had fun last weekend. <laughs> we sure did. Yeah. This kit comes with really, really detailed instructions, uh, which is fantastic. So all of the different info you're gonna need will be in here. Also, uh, Chris just told me that S-Tech themselves actually has their own produced video. Um, so you can watch that for like every single step-by-step -step instruction on, on a Colorado specifically. So we're going to link to that in the description. This is going to go over the entire process of installing the relays, the switches, the lights, install a, mo a molly panel. We're going to do all these things in this video, but if you want detailed parts of different things, check the description. I always like to put helpful stuff in there, whether that be PDFs or uh, other videos that are helpful. So look for that. I don't know, Chris, I think this guy might be bad. Think so? Yeah. Now, the interesting thing about this actually is I was I was kind of looking at uh, some of these, you know, the relays and waterproof housing and all that on Amazon, but to see it all kind of custom for a different vehicle, I don't know, if you're, if you're uh, an attention to detail nerd. Which I am. Which I am too, this is really, really cool. Disconnect your battery every time you do anything with the, the electrical, okay? Don't be dumb. Every time. Do it, come on guys. Okay, so we've hit our first snag. 
Uh, this truck has a harness that we didn't see in either the written instructions or the video that they had posted, and it's a big BC. This guy right there. The problem is the mounting point that this is currently mounted to is what we need to mount our bracket to. I think we're gonna take this off, we're gonna separate it, we're gonna relocate it behind here so we can mount that plate into the front. Hey! <laughs> that was not, uh, not easy. Not expected. Harley, only men are allowed in the shop, so Toby, and Chris and I are allowed, but you have to leave. I'm a boy. <laughs> hey, that's not how we sound. Uh, yeah. It's not how we sound. Stop uh, it. Uh, yeah. okay. So we have the bracket in, we have a couple of things moved and mounted. Now we're gonna start wiring. So I'm gonna get the relay box in there. Uh, we're gonna start wiring through the firewall into the cabin. So let's do it. It's our new ASMR sub channel. <laughs> oh, what's oh, up? Uh, yeah, Jason explains things to ASMR. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> so we've just completed an early step for the final step. Uh, this is all gonna feed back through and this end obviously is gonna go to the positive end of the battery terminal. We're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna wait till we wire everything up. So we're gonna move over next to the low voltage disconnect. What this does is it basically is a, a, a fail safe for your battery just to make sure you don't run your battery dead. Basically, this will just shut off all your accessories to save your battery and to keep you from uh, being stranded. So yeah, we're gonna wire that guy in now. Okay, an, an issue we found with uh, the installation here with this Adafuse is they don't really uh, mention any way to get your wire out of the fuse area to over here. Um, and we've already connected it because there's a channel around there and then and then the lid, so, you know, that's bad. But uh, upon, upon further review, if you look straight down, there's actually a hole I think will be big enough for a wire so we can just run it down through there. So we're gonna have to cut what we just did. But other than that, found a solution. Pretty Good. clean. So the next thing we're gonna do is mount up the actual uh, relay and fuse box to the top of the bracket we put in earlier. And then we're gonna start running some wires, finally. Woohoo! We got a ground here. This is gonna mount to the same ground as we did earlier with the low voltage disconnect. These are what all of our accessories mount to. So we're gonna have front lights, rear lights, radio at the moment for TBD. This red lead here mounts to the 12 volt out of the low voltage disconnect to finish all that circuitry. And then the last one we feed through the firewall. The big guy. Yes, this guy's gonna go into the center console. This is gonna go where we mount our switches. If you're running a, a wire for an antenna, like that one right there, you don't wanna use the same pass through the firewall as that because electrical wires will give you interference. Your radio will not have very good range. So we're gonna run this through with the rest of the big electrical bundle through the firewall. So we're gonna make a little slit in the gasket, pass it through similar to what we did with your forerunner. All right, so we've gone through the firewall. Now we're gonna get into the center console where we're gonna put the switches. <laughs> fingers. Oh, Who needs them? Your fingers hurt. Chris, I'm losing subscribers by the moment. <laughs> His fingers hurt. Well, now your back's gonna hurt because you just, Pulled landscaping duty. I'm just gonna keep doing jokes. Terrible, terrible jokes until you get this out. <gasps> oh! Well, this is the cavity we're gonna be mounting the switches into. They give you a little 3D printed template. So this slides over the back and that's gonna show where the bolts run through. And then the center piece there mm -hmm. is what we need to cut out. I can't believe that they locked the cook in the, in the fridge. Very nice, man. Yeah, looks good. All right, well, we're buttoning up the interior. We just got done wiring the radio through. We put a cool little uh, molly panel accessory here. This is all finally coming together. Uh, but we grounded the radio into a nice little anchor point on the passenger side, uh, ran the hot lead all the way through, and we're about ready to connect that up to the relay in the engine bay. So we're pretty well done on the inside. Chris, Chris, he senses the storm. Which way is it coming? I, to the east. <laughs> I knew it. Now it's time to move on to our, to not our, uh, Chris's new awesome Baja Designs fog light. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We've already done the passenger side, so we just gotta do the driver's side. We're about ready to pull out the closeout panel on the driver's side here. In order to do this or to make it way easier, we had to pull <laughs> out the front skid plate, which is a whole ordeal on this truck. 
All right, we're gonna pull this guy out and we're gonna pull out the old halogen light and get going. This bracket is supplied by AEV specifically for the Bison to add these aftermarket fog lights. Um, it's a little crazy because it's gotta go over that tubular bumper in the front. And then we just mount that Baja Designs right on top. So these mounts are incredibly adjustable and all, but uh, maybe a too adjustable? Maybe. Because it's becoming very, very difficult to match one side to the other because it's just forward, up and down, side to side, tilt and everything. And it's just, it's, it's pretty tricky. We'll get it matching as best we can. Again, we are bypassing the relay and the switch that came with the wiring harness for the Baja lights. Um, obviously, since we're using our own switches that we already showed you. So I'm using, reusing their wiring harnesses. I'm just gonna cut them, splice them, ground them, and run them over to the relay box. Wiring for the front lights is done. Let's reconnect the battery and test them out. Ready? Oh, it's super amber, dude! To quote uh, young Darth Vader, it's working, it's working! <laughs> Celebratory chip. One more accessory we're gonna be putting on. Now we're adding some chase lights. Ooh. On the Bison specifically, there are already cutouts in the bumper for these lights, but obviously you can add them to anything. These are gonna be nice on the trail, nice at the campsite, just for lighting up the area, and they'll be a good follow light if you're ever off-roading in a group and you got a lot of dust, things like that, they're good marker lights, so. Okay, lights are in place. We are gonna start wiring. We're gonna look for a grounding spot back here, of which there are Plenty. So again, like the front, you're cannibalizing the wiring uh, that mm -hmm. came with it, and then you'll probably have to extend it off a little bit. And Chris bought some uh, some plastic sheathing. Yeah, it just helped kind of protect it a little bit. But yeah, we'll use the factory plugs that come with the Baja Designs lights, and then we'll splice it in from there. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're using some fiberglass uh, wire, wire pulling dealy bobs. Uh, Chris has a good line of sight to a spot to clear all of the different hot things and things that move in the engine bay. So we're gonna pull the wire up, hook it up, and then we're done. Did you just finish? Just about. Swish them on. Hey, it looks good. All right, so we're at the uh, tail end of this video now and the tail end of your truck. Chris, uh, final thoughts on the project? Absolutely. Well, the install was a little tedious. It was a lot of wiring, which is not super my bag, but we got it figured out. Lots of opportunities for jokes. Hey, Chris, I think this Jonas guy is up to no good. Jonas? <laughs> <laughs> but the end result, I'm super happy with. Uh, I think it's gonna be a really nice, reliable, robust system. The lights, of course, are amazing. Uh, the radio wired in, absolutely no problem. And we have a little bit of expandability in the future for who knows what. And uh, the results uh, of how bright these things are, I mean, I see why they're not road legal for sure. I mean, just, just shooting uh, footage today, is just like, it, it burns a little bit. I, I I still have like squares <laughs> in my vision <laughs> and the results on the trail are really, really good. Yeah, it looks great in the backup camera. Off, on, <laughs> off, <laughs> on. Headlights. Oh. <laughs> Ouch! It's a little better. That's pretty good. It's a little better. That's <laughs> really great. Oh, yeah. Guys, we got a lot of awesome other videos on the channel about Chris's truck, also my Toyota 4Runner, uh, in the Overland DIY playlist. That's where all the 4x4 videos live. We got all sorts of awesome stuff. So you're going to want to subscribe and turn on notifications and ring bells and smash like buttons and, and all that good stuff. Right, Chris? Smash it. You got to smash you it. You got to smash it. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, everyone, uh, smash the like button and don't forget to do it yourself. Let's go, Chris. All right. <laughs> we're, we're going. We're, we're in the truck now. <laughs> Goodbye. Get in. Get out of here. You got to get in. You can't. We're, it's still rolling. We got to get in. <laughs>